All right, uh, welcome back to another video. I am going to be covering a, a piece of software that I feel like everybody needs to try out. Um, it's called Sync Thing. And a lot of people use like OneDrive, Google Drive, all these different cloud storages um, to kind of sync their information and, and files and such from you know different devices that they have, which is, I mean, they those softwares and, um, and programs work just fine. But obviously, for storage reasons, they call, they have costs for the being up in the cloud and everything like that. Where a lot of times you you also have those items stored onto your computer itself, um, so it's taking up space in your computer, taking up space in the, in the cloud, and you're paying for 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 those services to have those in the cloud. So, really, what Sync Thing does is it allows you to have your a specific folder on one computer shared over your local network to a, another computer or your phone or really any device and have those that specific folder that you want shared to those other folders. So what I want to show you today is kind of how that works and how, how to set it up because I think it's a, it's a great tool. It's completely free. It's open source. So yeah, let's kind of jump right into it. I have one uh, Linux and one Windows that I'm going to show. And then I have my phone as well. Uh, my phone is kind of the uh, the default place because um, my phone is always on typically, so I'm syncing everything to my phone. Um, so that has one one point where everything's being synced to, and then my other devices sync to that folder. So then all the all the devices have the same folder synced, um, and that way they're all getting the the information. So I'm on a Arch install on my um, Linux computer here. I'm on a um, Arch install for my um, Linux setup here, so I am just going to install it through the terminal. But if you are on like Fedora or Ubuntu or even another Arch that you have a you know graphical interface, you can install the the Flatpak version as well. Um, but I am going to first make sure everything is up to date. Then um, you should be able to. I think it's actually in the regular Arch repository, so you should be able to download it from there. All right, so that has been downloaded, and to launch it, you just launch, um, you just type in sync thing in your terminal, and then it'll automatically open up. It'll automatically open up a browser window for you with the sync thing configuration, and uh, what you want to do is just jump right in here and want to sync this with another device and so I actually have it on my phone already here so I have sync thing already, already already set up on here I just downloaded it and synced it to um, a folder that automatically creates um, called sync and it creates this default folder on, on all of your machines you can actually update the name of it if you want to it just says default folder I know me call it main just to be more specific there uh, and then I want to do show ID um, on my computer. And then on my phone, if I go to devices and then hit add, I can actually just scan QR code here. And then I can name the device. So this is going to be my Arch. I have a Lenovo, so I call it Arch Leno. Go ahead and save it. And so as soon as I save that, you see that it pops up uh, right here. And then I can click Add Device. And then I want to make sure it's sharing my main um, folder there. Um, so I'm going to click Main. And then it's asking for the device name of my phone. Um, so I have a OnePlus. I'm just going to say OnePlus 11. And then go ahead and save. And so now um, it's sync, it'll sync. It says up to date um, for both of those. And it has that folder um, syncing between both. I do want to make sure I go in here and click on folders, sync. And then I want to make sure that that device is checked um, for Arch Leno. And then so that's going to sync that folder um, directly to this one as well. So now if I actually open the browser here, um, you see that it automatically created a sync folder. Um, actually, you can't see that because my window here is in the way. 
go display only. You actually see that it created a sync folder. And so when I open that sync folder, it's already putting in the um, information that I have from the sync folder from my phone. Um, these aren't all of it, but it's some of it. Um, so I do put some like work stuff in here and then I have like recordings, um, I have different wallpapers. Um, so you can have pretty much anything you want, you know, sync between all of your devices. And then I can create new folders um, very easily just within this folder, whether no matter what computer that I'm on, as long as that folder is synced. Um, it'll sync across across the board there and as you can see it's it's synced at 13 percent and it'll keep on syncing there so you kind of use your device's storage for each device to have the original file on but then it's just sharing that file between your other devices and it's pretty like pretty quick it's pretty immediate i can record a video um let's say on my linux um install if i want to edit that on my windows um it's pretty immediate i can go over to the windows and, and be able to get that recording um very quickly so actually i'm going to show you that, um, so from my Linux, I do use um, uh, Moonlight to remote into my um, Windows computer. Um, so I could do that real quick. And I do already have the sync thing pulled up here for the GitHub, which I will put in the um, description below. So if you're on Windows, you would go to their GitHub and just download their um, exe file here. And so I'm going to go ahead and download that real quick. Go ahead and hit sync thing. And then this stuff's pop up because it's not like a known published piece of software. So it is it is safe. I use it all the time. Um, so you just want to use, you know, run anyways. Um, but obviously do that at your own uh, discretion there. Um, you can install for all users or just the current user. I'm just going to do current user, even though I don't have anybody else on this computer. And then you kind of just go through all of the options here. And I'm going to go install it. And hit yes on that. Um, that way it doesn't kill it um, through the firewall itself. And then um, it's automatically going to open the configuration page when I hit finish, as long as I have that checked. And then uh, I'm going to go ahead and click proceed here. And then you do the same process with your device uh, to get that get that up and, and running on here. So I'm just going to say, no, I don't want to report anything. OK. Then actions, I'm going to show the ID again. And then I'm going to add the device onto my phone. And as you can see, it pops up over here, add device. Same thing, I'm gonna have to make this the, I'm gonna make this the one plus, and then go to sharing, and then your default folder, and then go ahead and save. I do wanna change that default folder named main. You can create more folders if you want to. I just use the one folder and then create other folders within that folder um, to make it easier to for syncing purposes to have just one folder sync. You can add other folders that are already on your machine as well. Um, so you can just hit add folder and do it that way. But this way I only have to sync everything to my phone uh, and I don't have to keep syncing every device to each other. So like my phone is like the middleman between all of them. That's the one that's always on and, and up and running and has internet connection um, pretty much all the time. So that one is the one receiving everything. And you can see how many other devices are listening to it. Yeah, that's a kind of quick video on how sync thing works and how to set it up. Great tool. I definitely suggest you guys check it out and install it for yourself. And if you like this uh, type of content in this video, please consider like and subscribing to help out my channel. Um, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.